This is part of our educational series. This is pediatric fingertip repair, all you need to know in 90 seconds. Here we have a pediatric thumb that was smashed in a car door. The finger tourniquet has been placed for hemostasis. As you can see from the injury, the fingernail is now sitting on top of the skin of the epinicule fold. You can see that it's no longer up underneath the germinal matrix where it's supposed to be. When you flex the fingertip down, you can see this is an open injury, extending down to the level of the nail bed and the distal phalanx fracture. So to start, go ahead and peel that nail off. Use the freer or blunt instrument like a pair of scissors by spreading. And that'll give you full access to the open nail bed and open distal phalanx underneath. And you can see there's a transverse laceration here. Booking it open gives you exposure to the open distal phalanx fracture, which you can then copiously irrigate. Once that's been performed, you can get an idea of how the fingertip goes back together. Absorbable sutures should always be used in children, and three or four sutures will bring back the pulp and the nail bed nicely. Bacitracin is placed over the nail bed, and then a small piece of foil can be tucked under the epinicule fold, and then again secured with absorbable sutures. When you're finished, be sure to remove the tourniquet and place a soft bandage. No splint or antibiotics are needed.